Hey there and welcome to today's episode of Let's Reason Together. I hope you're doing well. So um, today's reflection is rooted in a statement which Jesus made, which I think should be a lifelong alarm to everyone. I mean, the sound of which um, its hearers should kind of have an introspection about their lives and themselves and do a reset where necessary. The statement is, without me, you can do nothing. This is found in the book of John chapter 15. I would like to read the portion of scripture from where that verse comes from so that we get a better understanding. So it goes thus, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you, except you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abides in me and I in him, the same brings forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If a man abides not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Um, it sounds to me as though Jesus determines what is and what isn't. What is being a life that finds meaning in Christ and what isn't a life that finds meaning outside of Christ. You know, verse three says what? Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken to you. When we come to Christ, we are being cleansed, you know, from all unrighteousness, all sin, all evil. We are being regenerated by the washing of water, which is the word, right? We are being made anew, made alive by the Holy Spirit of God, right? And so the Bible says we become a new creation by virtue of this regeneration. And so... Aren't we supposed to be nourished daily by the same spirit that gives us life? It says in verse 4, As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit if it is detached from the vine, how do we think that we can bear fruit for the kingdom? outside of Christ. He is the word of God. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The word Jesus made manifest, you know, through flesh, paid the price for our sin and gave us freedom, the freedom which we enjoy today, void of condemnation. And so I think that turning our attention to God is of great benefit to our life, our mental stability, our peace, our joy, because Jesus is life himself. Bible says that he came to give us life abundantly and the blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow. But the devil on the other hand comes to steal, kill and destroy, only causes chaos in the lives of the people. Now, I don't know about you because I cannot speak for you but I know that I want my life to be something that the Lord Jesus calls something and not nothing and for my life to be something it says here in the word to abide in him else I will be like a branch cast forth and withers right gathered by men thrown into the fire and is burned which is nothing to abide in Christ 
is to have a constant connection to him, to the vine, right? Or to have that continuous stay in him, which is to be guided by his teachings, by his instruction, by his commands, you know, generally to let your life be influenced by the word of God. Paul got this revelation when he said that everything that he has accomplished outside of Christ, he counted as loss, as rubbish, right? Which is to say that um, Christ ought to be the center of the Christian life. And so it is my prayer that as we reflect on this scripture, that the spirit of God will open our eyes, you know, enlighten us to see our need for Jesus, to see that the father is to be involved in the establishment of our lives, without which our lives shall be nothing, as Jesus said. So remain blessed and may the spirit of the Lord give us revelation and understanding. Stay blessed.